Resident doctors at the University College Hospital in Ibadan aren't faced by the federal government's no work, no pay directive. They are choosing to stay off work like their counterparts in other parts of the country to press for improved working conditions. John Alabi visited the hospital. His report is presented from our studio. The University College Hospital in Ibadan isn't as busy as it used to be. And that's because resident doctors are not around to see patients. They are obeying directives of the National Association, which is on strike, to call attention to unfavorable working conditions. This is in spite of the federal government's no work, no pay directives. The president of the National Association of Resident Doctors in the hospital, Dr. Temi Tokbe Hussein, said the order is inconsequential. The federal government should have a technical committee that will look at all the items that have been agitated for in the health sectors before they metamorphose into items that have to lead to a strike. WHO says you should have one doctor to 600, one doctor per 600 of the population. Population is over 220 million. We have 32,000, about 32,000 registered. That's one to 7,000. So that means that we need to increase the population of doctors by tenfold to achieve that. Now, these are all international organizations where the Nigerian government is a part of. So I think if things are done properly, we will not be there. The public relations officer of the hospital, Tonye Akinriola, says UCH will be complying with directives from government and keep operations going. All other uh, category of health workers are at work. The nurses are at work. The scientists are at work, pharmacists are at work, the physiotherapists, all of them are at work. But as a responsible organization, whatever directive the federal government gives, we would, and I want you to mark that, we would comply. Dr. Hussein is empathic that doctors' demands are reasonable and can be met by the government. Our demands are very simple very straightforward. So no work, no pay, sack, no salary. They are um, just um, a distraction. So when those things are done, we'll go back to work. The strike will continue as long as federal government does what he has said it will do. The doctors want the federal government to place them on a previously agreed salary scale, review their hazard allowance, and domesticate the Medical Residency Training Act. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.